Oh, wait a minute. I have a last slide, I think. Jacko, you. That's it. It's only one word. It's so easy. <laughs> okay, no questions. Good. Just send me a mail. Oh, there's somebody waving at me. Hi. Want to come forward? Questions? Okay. Hi. So you mentioned less large enterprise scale Scrum. Um, in less, the product owner typically is a essentially an uber product owner, they're like a CEO product owner, they come down from their lofty heights, work with the team, then they withdraw back up the top, and when the team wants to get information about the organization, they actually will go out, reach out to the organization, and work with the marketing area, or the HR, the law area, or whatever area it is, if they're typically a software team, because less is very software orientated. So what do you think about this? idea of a part-time product owner in less? Part-time product owner? Um, I don't see why you would call it part-time actually. Uh, my product owner is a full-time product owner uh, and what he does is he, he prioritizes work for the teams and uh, he has a vision of what needs to be done with the product and then um, he, he, he talks a lot to customers and he gets his information and um, delivers like a rough backlog of stuff that he thinks is very important maybe a visionary map of what the competitors do in, in the back of his mind. And then the teams, they get cracking on that stuff. They start talking to customers to whom the product owner introduces them. And doing that work is a full-time job. So, sure, but the, in less, they're not with the team the whole time. They're not learning mm. with the team. They're not present with the team because they're away, essentially yeah. doing their other jobs outside and away from the team. So they're not with the team and growing and learning with the team. That's correct. Communicating with the team, right? Yeah. So how does that marry with your expectations of communication with the team? Yeah, um, so this is a last question and not a remote facilitation question, but I, I have an opinion on that. So um, I think the, um, uh, what I saw with product owners that were working very close to the team and doing all these learnings, like you say, and, and evolving with the teams, they became the analyst for the team. And the team was leaning backward, waiting for the product owner to have the story finished. And the refinements, they were like contract negotiations, whether the acceptance criteria were clear enough for the team so that the story was ready enough for them to start building it. So there's, there's, a, there's, you know, there's this bad side of having a product owner totally always available for the teams and there's of course a bad side of having a product owner that's never there and it's a good product owner who knows to they, they know how to share their energy to give enough information to the team so they can evolve and understand more about the product and put their own uh, learnings on the, on, uh, on, on the product development in there yeah okay thank you yeah okay you're welcome one question last Food. Yeah, hello to everybody. So hello. we have nine team in organization in our department. One is in Germany, four in Copenhagen, and four in Kiev. So far we have two great planning events when we go to get together and plan everything. But our executives want to save money, so they want that we organize a kind of virtual planning event next time. So nobody will travel, we will stay in our office and try to do this work. Is it same pitfalls? Is it possible at all? Yes, it's very good possible. Uh, ideally, instead of spending money on flights to get everybody together, I would spend a lot of money on infrastructure. So you can have a wall, a video wall in every office, as big as this one, and you can see everybody. The only thing that's missing from that solution is that it's a really teleportal that you could walk into it to go into that other office. That's for the future. So for now, I would say, invest in good video connections and, and good utilities to make sure that the people are, you know, distance, you can, you can do away with distance by using a video and audio channel. Um, so I would, I would use that and it works, but you have to continuously work on it and have it l like a very visual thing on your radar that it's something you need to improve because it's not easy. It's not easy to get there. I'm going to be doing an, uh, hopefully an experiment with a video wall like that. Because I think that, that would be the ultimate solution. Because we're now working with television screens everywhere. And 
You know, when you're sharing your desktop, then you can't see the video anymore. That kind of stuff. It's horrible. It's just simple things you have to get rid of. Make sure you, s you, 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 you see the stuff that you talk about, and you see the people, you see the presenters, everybody, then, then you'll get there. And it does work then. Yes. Okay. Hey, thanks, everybody.